All right, everybody. Just a quick video. I just wanted to update you on some of the uh, progress on this van, which I thought was quite exciting. Uh, just to catch everyone up, if you didn't catch the last couple of videos, is um, I was making that little box right there, which is actually an air conditioner pod. Um, I was actually quite proud of. I think it worked out well, and uh, having it installed now, I'm uh, equally as happy. Um, so that's how she looks. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a limited view here. I've got it backed into my, uh, my garage there, but I thought it turned out really nice and uh, ran it today. And uh, I think it's gonna be totally sufficient to cool down the van uh, outside of maybe the most extreme of temperatures. But the way it works is that little door opens up there and uh, that would be open if you're running the AC. And then if you're not, you would just shut that and it would lock shut. But uh, I thought it turned out really nice. Uh, of course, I had dry fit it and, and all that kind of stuff, but it fit like a glove. Uh, you know how things go. Sometimes when you go to do the final install, you run into a problem. But this thing went on real nice and smooth. And um, I think it turned out really well. Um, for some of you who don't remember, this, these doors were both beat up pretty pretty bad. Um, I ended up repainting them. Um, I had talked about this before, but I would put in these steel plates to hold the tire mount in. I put some Bondo and stuff around the edges there to, to make it look real nice and neat. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for a project like this. And I went ahead and added a uh, good old classic jerry can. Um, now this one... <clears throat> this one is for real. Um, when they put in, when they convert these to four-wheel drive, which this is, uh, they actually cut the fuel tank a little bit. And from the best of my calculations, this is about 20 or 22 gallons, which is not horrible. But uh, uh, there could be times where I might legitimately want some extra fuel. So, and I, I like just the good old classic jerry can. So we put that on, got our tire on. But uh, you walk around here, I thought the back was looking real nice now um real nice i was real pleased with how that turned out you know it's got a little dent up there in the corner i'm just gonna actually leave that to be honest with you um but uh the doors both open uh because of the tire uh they basically just open straight out they have a little uh they have i don't know what you call it, like a little lock or some sort of mechanical eliminator or eliminator or limiter excuse me that limits how open the doors can go and i'm fine with that i don't uh uh, I don't plan to have those open and doing a whole lot with it, but uh, I think it worked out real well. And uh, additionally, um, because this was a Class B and they had originally installed a three-way fridge, they had the the those two repairs right there, or those two uh, uh, block-offs. Uh, those were big vents and uh, louvered vents, and uh, they were a mess. They were trashed, coupled with the fact that I'm putting in a uh, DC compressor fridge so I don't need that uh, those vents there so I actually made those little panels um, I knew the paint wouldn't match up perfect but uh, all things being considered I think I think they uh, work out really well um, I'm actually really pleased um, again you know if this was a pristine you know newer class B you know there's definitely probably more elegant solutions to block those off but uh, you know kind of being a rugged 4x4 four four, a little bit of an older rig uh, I think those are going to be just fine. And uh, one final thing. We'll come around the front here. Is. Okay, so one final thing is up there on the top. It has uh, two vents. Uh, one for what would be the, um, the bathroom. And one which would be over the kitchen area. And both those vent fans were a mess. And I replaced those. So. Little by little, we're getting done stuff done. My next tasking is I want to go through and replace a lot of the uh, screws that they put to secure the uh, high top down. Uh, some of them didn't uh, weren't installed properly, and I've already started on this side. So I've got to finish a couple of those up, and then I have a seal that goes around it, which I'll take care of. And then uh, I got to put up the panels. And uh, there will inevitably be little things I'll do on the outside. But uh, once I get those panels up, I'm going to actually start jumping on the inside and uh, put my uh, full work effort into getting the uh, interior uh, coach section built out. So I think it's exciting, guys. Appreciate you guys following along. And uh, 
I think we're doing well. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But I just wanted to do a quick update. Thanks, guys, for watching.